Hello friends, today we are going to learn about visual styles and preset point of views. This is Gökçe from CG Cave. Welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. Okay, let's hit Z to zoom to the grid. Uh, what I want to do, I want you to maximize your perspective viewport. Go to create geometry, standard primitives, choose the teapot and let's create, hold the left mouse button and drag it and create this awesome teapot here. Uh, I will hit Z to zoom the, to the object. I'll go to the modify tab and change the radius to 30. And I want to hit W to get into the move tool. And I will just right click on these spinners to put this teapot to the origin. The visual styles are the way we see the models or the objects in the viewport. And the options are under here, default shading. Uh, it may say a different name in the previous versions, but in 2019 it says default shading. And under here, the most important ones, I guess, uh, are these two. The most used ones, the most commonly used ones. And the first one is wireframe and the second one is edged faces. And the shortcuts for these is F3 and F4. If I hit F3 from the keyboard, you will see that this is the wireframe mode. I can just... As you can see, this is already ticked, but if I go back to the default shading, shading, I can just click on this as well. But you can, again, hit F3 and F3. This will cycle between default shading and wireframe uh, visual styles. If you hit F4, this will leave the shading on, but also we will see the wireframe on the object. Okay, These two are really important because we will want to know where these polygons or these vertices are in 3ds Max. Okay, This, is, this will be very important for us. And wireframe is important because we want to see the other side of the object, or the in, uh, inner sides of the object. So these two will come in very, very handy. If you hit Alt W to minimize the viewport, you will see that in the other viewports, it's already uh, they are already in wireframe mode. So uh, it's already uh, like that in these viewports because it's more likely that you will have another object um, under this one and the other viewports. But in perspective viewport, we have shading. But if you hit F3 and F4, you can change these options. And another one I uh, use a lot is the clay option. Uh, clay option will show you the objects in this clay color. And the thing with this is it will uh, disable the materials. If you have a refractive material, for example, if you have a glass in your viewport, you usually won't be able to see it clearly. But if you change the visual style to clay, you will have um, these uh, clay colored objects. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Don't you don't need to do uh, this, but I will show you. I will assign a transparent material to this. I will hit M to open up the uh, materials window. I'll right click material. Let's create a standard material. Assign this to this object. And if I just change the opacity of this object, if I Go to default shading. As you can see, I can see the I can I can really see the object. And if I go to the clay option, you will see that I will be able to see the object. For now, it's not important because we don't know about materials or anything yet. But in the future, uh, in complex scenes, uh, sometimes this will be important. And also, uh, some people prefer modeling in this color. I I really don't. I prefer modeling in gray color, but uh, some people do. And the fourth option I want to talk about is the bounding box option. Bounding box will show the objects in these boxes <laughs> or as these boxes. Uh, this is handy because if you have a really, really, really complex scene and sometimes you just want to open up Max, change some settings and hit render, for example. And this will this is uh, best performance uh, visual style in 3ds Max. So if you have like uh, 300 million polygons in your scene and you can't even like pan the camera this will uh, come in handy and it will show only the uh, bounding boxes of the objects you don't want to see any polygons but it will be very easy to uh, navigate around the scene okay and i guess we have all these other ones i'm i don't really use the other ones but let's uh, go over them facets is as you can see it shows non smooth shading I don't know what this is used for actually. Flat color will show you the flat color of the object. This actually, I know why this is used. Uh, this will come in handy when we are just trying to capture the silhouette of the object. Of the object. 
uh, when we are placing our camera we want to see uh, the whole silhouette and you sometimes seeing this in default shading is a distraction so you can just put it in default uh, flat color sorry and make a better judgment a uh, hidden line is uh, like wireframe but it doesn't show the other side i don't know why this is used really the model assist is a new actually visual style it uh, i guess it's uh, here um, from 2018 i guess and it's 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 showing us the smoothing groups or the uh, age flows of the polygons uh, i know that you're saying what the heck are these uh, smoothing groups and edge flows what are you talking about yeah we don't know about them yet so let's just pass this just leave it in default shading for now I will talk about this in uh, modeling and we have all these stylized options uh, but they're just for fun I guess maybe you can use these for presentation purposes but we have all these as well. okay you can play with these these are just for fun <laughs> okay and um, uh, the last thing, the second thing I want to talk about is the preset uh, point of views. What I mean with this is like you can, if you uh, hit Alt W again, you have all these top view, front view, left view, but we don't have other views or maybe in perspective or not maybe, but in perspective viewport, you will want to go to top view, but you don't want to just Alt W this, Alt W this. This is too much. This will take too much time. If you just hit T from your keyboard, this will take you to the top view. If you hit F from your keyboard, this will take you to the uh, front view. And if you hit L, this will take you to the left view. And as you can see, we have all these shortcuts, B for button, uh, U for orthographic view, and P for perspective view. If you hit P, uh, the perspective window, it's um, a view uh, that will help you see the shading or the 3D uh, version of the object. You see the front side, left side and the top side at all at the same time okay this will we will use this uh, while molding a lot and you can hit u or choose this for orthographic uh, i usually recommend you to be in the perspective view but we will uh, we will talk about this in future uh, lessons uh, but for now let's uh, leave it like that you can hit t f l or p and these will uh, take us to preset point of views okay and we can also see them uh, from under this menu here. Okay. Uh, thanks guys for listening. If you like this video, please hit the like button. You can subscribe to our channel for new videos. Uh, I will see you on the next lesson.